incoming message. I want to speak to you personally. Some of you are really struggling. I understand it. Life is beautiful, magnificent, it's amazing, and it is also filled with its share of seemingly daunting challenges. So let's talk about the story of your life, because whether you realize it or not, you are the author. You're not just a character in someone else's narrative, just reacting to whatever happens. No, you hold the pen. And once you understand that, you stop living as if you are a victim of circumstances, always waiting for something outside of you to change. So often, we live in reactionary mode, thinking, well, this is just how life is, or I can't control what happens to me. But the truth is, while we cannot control everything that happens, we have the power to decide how we respond, how we frame those experiences and challenges, and what happens next. You're not stuck in the past chapters of your life. You get to write the next chapter. We know where we've been. We all have stories that are filled with highs and lows, triumphs and struggles, but the beauty is those are just chapters. The past is not indicative of the future. Those challenges that you have endured, those aren't the entire book. That's not the whole story. The questions now become, who do you want to be? Where do you want to go from here? And what kind of life do you want to create moving forward? Now imagine yourself as the hero of your own story. The hero always faces challenges, right? But they don't give up. And more importantly, they don't stay stuck. The hero evolves, grows, and ultimately triumphs. So why not see yourself the same way? Why not begin to write the story where you emerge victorious over all the obstacles? Now this does not mean life is going to be easy or that there won't be any challenges, but it does mean that you can choose how to navigate those challenges. You can decide that no matter what comes, you're going to find a way to move forward. You're going Going to rise because that's what heroes do. And it begins with owning your power. Too often, we give that power away. We think, well, I can't do this because of my past, or I'm limited by my circumstances. But the truth is, you have everything you need to write a new chapter. Every decision, every thought, every action is a word in your story. You get to shape it. You get to decide what kind of character you're going to be. So will you be the one who all always reacts or the one who always chooses. Begin thinking about what you want your story to look like. Not just where you've been, but where you're going. What kind of hero do you want to be? What challenges are you going to overcome? What dreams are you going to make real? You are holding the pen, so it's time to use it. The greatest stories are filled with setbacks, of course, but they're also filled with breakthroughs, transformations, and victories. You have the power to create that in your own life life. So take that next step, write that next chapter, and remember, you are the author of your story. Who do you want to be? What is the next chapter in the greatest story ever told? Your story. What's it gonna be? And before I go, I just want to remind you that if you are feeling stuck, this is what I do. I've been doing this for a long time, longer than I would like to admit, over 20 years. So I know what I'm doing. I can help you. If you need help, do not hesitate hesitate to reach out to me, drop me a line, mark at askmarkward.com or DM me on any of the socials at askmarkward. I'd be happy to help you.